Welcome or welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today's video is on how to make the turban with the ruffles and pleats with a pleated V band. I have a video that shows how to make this cap already on this channel, so please watch the video before this or check the description box for the link to the video. And if you are yet to join the family, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and then be sure to select the option to receive all notifications so you get updates whenever I upload new videos. I have two pieces to start with for the design. Okay, I will explain now for the first two pieces we need for the design. These are going to be used to make a scrunchie, a long scrunchie uh, piece, and the, it measures each of these pieces measures about the width is about six inches, and the length, the very long one, actually joined the pieces. So I have about um, 85 inches here. I have about 85 inches, 60 plus 25, that's 85. I have it in two places. If you want yours to ruffle more, you can add more. If you want it to be reduced a little, you can reduce it, okay? You can actually work with whatever measurement works with while you're working. So it's better to have it long. You can trim off the excess while working. All right, so I'm going to fold each of the piece into two this way. And I'm going to stitch from one hand like this. To the other end all the way down like that i will repeat the same for this other piece okay so i've sewn my two pieces i explained and i'm going to just turn them inside out like this i have my two pieces ready i've turned the right side out now I'm going to get two pieces of this as well, just any piece of fabric like this. The length is not, um, I don't have a particular measurement in mind. I'm going to be working with what will be required, or what will be enough while working. Okay, I have about 32 inches, so I can actually cut off the excess, yes, if required. So I'm going to use my safety pin to pass it through this, uh, sewn fabric I mean, or sewn piece I'll pass it like that all the way down so I'll just keep pushing the fabric in with the help of the safety pin push it in like that to the end while I'm pushing it in once it falls inside the little not totally I will be using my pin to hold it down so it doesn't fall inside then I proceed. Okay, so I have brought out the piece from the other end and I'll drag to to create a scrunchie or a ruffle. So now at this point, you're going to place your cap on your mannequin or like this, just to measure, just to measure where it's going to cover. Okay, just to be sure where your ruffle is going to get to your cap. So at that point, you you get that and cut off the excess piece of fabric and please make sure you hold it down pin before you cut it off so that it doesn't move away so if you want your ruffle to be more than mine like i said earlier increase the length of your piece of fabric okay you can make it up to 100 120 if you want it to really ruffle more so this is what i have at this point i'm going to be doing this on the second piece as well okay so i have my pieces ready i'm good, just going to keep them aside while i move on to the last piece we'll be using for this project so this is it and it's about 30 inches then from here to here is about 24 inches i'm going to just turn it this way to have the right side so on the this is the 30 inches part this is the 24 inches part. I'm going to fold it this way into two on the 24 inches part. Okay. And I'm going to sew like this. Sew this way. Sew all the way down. But I'll leave an opening somewhere here for us to turn the right side 
of the piece of fabric out. So I'll go ahead to my sewing machine and sew like that and leave an opening for us to turn it and we turn the right side out. Alright, so I've sewn it as you can see and I have this part to turn the right side out. So now this is what we have after turning it out. So you can go ahead and give this a good press. And best remember to to sew this part that we left earlier to turn the right side out. So I've stitched this part. So please hire your fabric, like I said earlier, before you proceed to the next step. So now I'm going to start pleating. Remember, this is the 30 inches part. I'm going to pleat. I'll pleat from here so I can hide this my sewn edge. Just pleat. We normally do so I have like five pleats here and I'll just hold it down with my with my clip or peg and I come to this side and arrange my pleats like that make sure they are well aligned okay and I'm going to use my My clip to hold it down right here. I come to this other side and do the same. I've done my pleats as you can see, and I've used my clips to hold them down. Now I'm going to use my needle and try to tuck. I'll start from the center and tuck. Invisible tucking. Okay, so after tucking it here, I just bend it like I'm doing a curve a little so that it's like to relax well. If you tuck it while it's straight, it might actually look rough on your, I mean, given. So I'll just bend the little before I go ahead and tuck. So I'll do the same too when I come to this side. I'll tuck here, do the same here. So if I like, I can just tuck a little bit just here and here just to keep it in place but please bend it this way before you tuck okay i've tucked it down securely as you can see now it's time for us to assemble our pieces on our cap so i'll be getting my mannequin this is my mannequin head as you can see i'm going to place the first layer of the ruffles So I'm going to place the first layer on the ruffles like this. It's going to cover this part and come this way. Can you see? Now I'll be fixing it with my glue. You can use a UHO or glue stick to so make sure you get the center of the ruffle. Just get the center, fold into two like this. This is the center and this is the center of the cap. I'll start fixing it. You can tap when you do and thread, but for the purpose of this training, I'll just do this with my glue. I can decide to use my needle and thread to later secure it. Alright, so I prefer to use UHU because this part tends to be exposed to sunlight okay, when the head is on you or your clients. And the way hot glue works, when, it's, when there's a, a lot of heat or sun, it actually melts and you know it will actually disengage whatever design you are put together with that. So I will advise you to do more of tacking. But if I tell you want to use glue, use UHU or B6000 glue. Okay, UHU or B6000 glue does not melt. 
under sunlight but hot glue i mean the candle gum generally as a candle gum it melts under direct sunlight so i'll just allow this to dry a little and i'll fix my ruffle like that so i'll just fix it up to this point you know where we have this our handle i'll fix it up to this point here as well then we'll continue from there all right as you can see i fixed the first piece of ruffle with my glue i'm going to pick the next one and i'll do the same on top okay i'll just arrange it like that and fix it as well on top of it on top of the first layer from here to here so at this point you can do some hand stitching i'll be doing some hand stitching to fix it see where i'm fixing it a little bit away from this end can you see this is where the first one ends so i'm starting from here the second one so i'll just fix it like that all the way down visible tack in place visible tacking like this so i'll just fix that then i'll be back to show you the next step so i've secured the two pens together i mean the two ruffles together as you can see now i'm going to place the pleated one on top okay and i'm going to tack the same way when you're attacking you're going we're going to be tacking only this layer that's a layer under only this layer i'll just tack with my needle and make sure you get the center this is the center fold into two like this to get the center place that center here use this v band to note your center then you tap needle and trash i'm going to do some invisible tackings to fix them together okay invisible tacking this point have tacked my pleated part to it i will still do some other tackings but i just want to show you before i do that i mean before i finish up finally now when you get to this back part see what is left here you just place it like this remember we have the hand for the time just place it behind the hand for the time this way arrange it well if you need to fold in you can fold it in like this can you see? Then you tack it down. Like this. So, as you can see, I've tacked it down. Now, I'll do the same for this other side. I'll just bring it to where we have the handle for the time. I'll fold it in a little if it's required. And I'll tack 
neatly down okay so i'm going to do all this and i'm going to show you the final look you know i'm working with a soft soft fabric this satin the beauty comes out where we're using a thicker fabric maybe like casual k or top clothes you can use silk you can use any fabric of choice as long as you know it's going to come out beautiful all right so i appreciate you so much i'm going to show you the final look once done thank you so much for watching this video and then um, we will see you next time bye